Leo, welcome to your reading. This is uh, yours and theirs with clarifiers. Thank you so much for being here. Hit that like and subscribe. Add your energy to the mix. And we're going to get started right away. Spirit, angels, guides, ancestors of love and light. We thank you for your help today with Leo's reading for them and their person for whatever they need to know for the highest good. Thank you. All right, what is going on, Leo? There it is. The world. A cycle needs to close out. Assessing the situation. And the Knight of Cups. Wanting to express yourself. Your person showing up with the Fool. Ten of Wands. Ooh, heavy burdens. And the Six of Wands. Card of Victory and Success. All right. In the Shared Energies, we have Judgment. The Three of Cups. And the Chariot. Nice. The Vehicle to Victory. Nice. Communion. Decisions from our highest selves. Being called higher. Endings. New beginnings. Interesting. Underlying energy. Justice. Bringing in the balance. That's why we're here. Want to make things right. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Let's get right into it and check out what you're showing up with over here. Now, energies can be fluid. And um, you may not identify with this first column, even though I am calling that yours, Leo. And starting out with the Nine of Pentacles, the card of independence. Doing just fine on your own. The Knight of Pentacles. You're slow walking it somewhere. Oh, Queen of Swords. She's got something to say, something to declare. You are slowly closing out the cycle of perhaps being single but it's happening slow but you're here to say a little something extra oh look I want a new beginning too that's what you're here to say that's why we're here that is why we're here and your person's card is the fool next how cool is that they're ready to tell you they're ready to stop being single sort of I mean, I say they, I'm talking about you, <laughs> if you identify with this column. Yeah, how cool is that? All right, let's take a look at your person showing up with the Fool. There it is. Ooh, they're running somewhere, to or from. They want to take action, and they're ready to do it yesterday. King of Pentacles, very stable energy master and of his uh, managing his resources so you know you look like you are too you guys might be a great match look at that ten of cups they think so they think so nice are you playing hard to get is that what this slow walking it is slow walking the single uh you know ending to the single hood declaration <laughs> slow walking it playing hard to get perhaps could be maybe for some of you the underlying energy for your person is the ace of swords they are clear as could be about how they feel they want this adventure with you they want to take the risk they're they're ready to dive right in rush right in motorbike right in whatever it is yeah whatever it is that gets them there quick <laughs> uh yeah they're really good energy that king of pentacles and you and that nine of pentacles wow and that Ten of Cups, they see themselves sharing with you. Let's stop right now. That's that's it. That's your reading for today. Like, subscribe. <laughs> Help build this channel. Okay, let's look at judgment. There's this decision that you are both um, sharing the energy to. What is this judgment card here? Ooh. Okay. That's interesting. Nine of Wands. There's some... Um, Wounded energy here. Guarded energy. Nine to a seven. And a nine of swords. Wow. I did not expect this, you guys. 
because of this wounded guarded energy we we have anxiety and stress to the max showing up here wow one of you might be the nine of wands the other one might be the nine of swords i don't know but when it comes to making a decision y'all are freaking out y'all are freaking out you this energy over here is amazing and this is like a freak out underlying here three of pentacles yeah we're here because we want to make plans to build some stability that's what the decision is about but somebody's very very guarded the nine of swords seven of swords is extra guarded scared just scared it's like fearful um because they've been through it before and they don't want to go through what they went through before This Knight of Swords, I'm wondering, is it running away from a new beginning? But I don't think so. I don't think so. It just popped in my head like a whole other scenario of how this energy could be moving. But I don't think so. You both have the same intention to come together to make a decision to come together to build something here together. But man, the stress is huge. The stress over here, the Nine of Swords, may just be because this person's so guarded. It could just be their stress because you're stressed. You know, that kind of thing. All right, let's move on. Let's look at the, let's assess the situation, yes, with the Seven of Coins coming up next. In your column, Leo, what's going on? Seven of Swords, regarding sharing my divine cup of love as well as receiving... I come with an ace. Yes, you definitely want to share this gift of your love and your stability. You want, you're ready to grow it brand new from a seedling all the way to a new fulfillment. Amazing, amazing. Third energy. <gasps> wow, you got the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, I assure you. The, these decks were shuffled many times after the last reading and before this reading off camera and then on as well they were not together amazing wow all new beginnings in every area of your life that's what you want that's what's here for you in the opportunities and that's what you're showing up with wow that's awesome energy uh oh I don't want to show you the bottom of the deck I don't want to I don't want to. We can't even clarify it. We don't clarify these. Underlying energy. The reason we're here is because shadow energy is here. Toxic behavior. Unhealthy behavior. Unhealthy habits. Something. Something, something, something. Could be addiction. Could be obsession. It could be... Mm, I don't know. It could be any, any unhealthy behavior, really. But it seems... It seems to be kind of significant here, showing up with all those aces, new beginnings, and you just offering your your everything, you know, here. So, all right. Wow. Let's look at your person. They have this Ten of Wands. This is the ultimate culmination of burdens, and they're collapsing because of it. Wow. What the heck is this? What in the world is going on, y'all? Look, the world shows up again. That's the card you showed up with. Old cycles closing out. Somebody's dropping their burdens over here. That's good. That's good. Four of Wands. Four of Wands. Uh, maybe they were married and that was that's a burden and that's being dropped, perhaps. Uh, the Chariot is uh, a lot of willpower and drive to close this out. They want to get to success. And obviously success is right next to them over here with all these aces. You got all them aces up your sleeve, Leo. <laughs> Underlying energy. Look at that. Again, showing up at the bottom of the deck. It was the clear, It was for the, uh, the underline over here. The desire to come together, to, to build something together, to commune together. They need to close out an old cycle, though, that's a burden. It may be a marriage or some sort of committed relationship. That's what it looks like. It's still a burden for your person. Okay. Uh, let's look at the Three of Cups actually coming together in love and good times. Three of Cups in the shared energy. Is this where we make it together finally? 
Maybe this Knight of Swords back here is them running to a new beginning as fast as they can. That's what it is. That's what it is. They're not running away. They're running to a new beginning. Yeah. Okay. That new beginning is you. Yeah. New interest. Coming together. Yes. In other words, you guys coming together. The new interest. Not this thing that they're tied up to that needs to close out. Ace of Wands. Got all the aces on the table now cups, pentacles, swords, and now wands show up when it's all passion. Look at that. Page of wands, ace of wands. Let's get it on. <laughs> Ooh, five of wands. <laughs> There's conflict. You guys can't get it on right now. I don't know why. Why is this not coming together? Oh my goodness. What is this conflict? You know what? Underlying page of pentacles. Somebody's not making the investment. That's why. Somebody's not making the initial investment yet. One of you is, one of you isn't. I think that the one that is is over here with all the aces, yeah. Uh, and this one possibly can't at this moment, uh, but they're trying to get to you. They're trying to get to you via this chariot as fast as they can. Okay, all right. So it's their prior commitment, the arg. Arg, arg, arg. All right, let's move on to your column, the Knight of Cups. Wanting to express yourself. Tell it like it is. What message do you wish to deliver there, Leo? What do you want to say at this point in time? Uh-oh. Endings and transformations. No. Holding on. Holding on tight. Not letting go. Ah, uh, of this new beginning. They're not giving up. So this must be dragging out this thing that your person is going through, Leo. Um, but yeah, you're you're holding on tight to this new beginning. You want it. You want it and they show up with it. They want it. Underlying. Ooh. Ooh, sexy, sexy. Is this your person? Is this why we're here? This is what you're holding on to, a new beginning with this guy? I don't blame you one bit. That's hot. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at your person. Throwing their arms up in the air. Victory is here with the Six of Wands. What's going on? What does Leo and their person need to know about this Six of Wands? Victory. Victory, victory. Tell us it happens now. Okay, we have the Four of Cups. Disappointment. Uh-oh justice uh, let's see there's something to learn here uh oh pay attention this could be the marriage justice or the divorce or it could simply mean bringing in uh, balance disappointment in the balance here but it's on victory but there's disappointment disappointment in the marriage well we already know that because they want to leave it disappointment in justice how things are laying out in the divorce perhaps ooh that might be it page of swords or something to learn why is it on victory though if there's disappointment disappointment underlying two of cups soul connection we're here because of y'all being this soul connection okay and you want to come together you, you see each other as, as each other's partner you're in love but disappointed in justice. Uh, maybe they're saying things aren't fair right now. They're disappointed in, in the things that just are not just, you know? Uh, let's, I, because I want some more clarity here, I want to go in a little deeper on that Page of Swords. Page of Swords says uh, there's something to learn here, something to pay attention to, take a closer look and uh, learn something. Let's watch something. Uh, so the only way I know to do that right at this moment is to clarify extra. What are we supposed to learn here with the Page of Swords, please, with more clarity? They 
want to be victorious with you as their soul connection, but disappointed in justice. Uh, there's sort of a timeout being had here at this moment in time. What else? Uh, surrounding a painful ending. Oh, so before you guys can get together, there has to be possibly a timeout. The moon, things that are are secret right now. There's secrets. They're yet to be revealed. Damn it. We're not supposed to know beyond that at this moment, but there is a sense of a timeout with this painful ending attached to it. That's why they're disappointed. That's what it is. They're on their way to being victorious. I think the painful ending has come back here, but things aren't fair right now because you guys still can't be together for a minute, but I feel like it's temporary. This timeout is a temporary timeout. It's not a long timeout. It's temporary. Okay. Okay. Underlying energy. Yeah, the lovers. That's why we're here. That's why we're here, so you guys can get together. You just have to chill for a minute for whatever reason, whatever this is. Let's take a look at your final card. Thank you, Spirit. Let's take a look at your final card here, the Chariot, the Vehicle to Victory. This could be advice for the both of you or how you both go about this or what will be the Vehicle to Victory. There's a lot of willpower and drive to get to success here. You guys just want to be together. Holding on. You're holding on. Things are progressing. Things are moving. Uh, Six of Pentacles. And Eight of Cups. And the Wheel. The Wheel of Fortune. Uh-oh. What's going on? Things are changing. Somebody's walking away. But before somebody walks away, the Six of Pentacles shows up. That's equanimity. That's fairness. That's balance. That's everybody getting on the same page. And as soon as that happens, somebody walks away. And it turns the wheel. It turns the wheel of fortune. I think it turns it in your favor underlying energy oh yeah oh yeah we're here because our hearts are wide open for each other that's why we're here we're here because the queen of cups says i'm here with my full cup of love i surrender to you <laughs> oh my goodness this is a nice reading you guys this is really really nice this eight of cups is somebody um walking away from being able to walk away from that past and turn the wheel so you guys can experience this energy it's amazing absolutely amazing let's pull a few cards from the universe just to close this off universe what say you for our Leo friends who are on this journey, on the mend, everybody's being patient, waiting to run into each other's arms and start a new life together. They're in love, they're tying up loose ends, having a hard time not being together. It is disappointing, but they're both committed. They both uh, want it. They both say they want this. It's going to happen. What's going on? There it is. Uh-oh. Ten of Swords. Painful endings. The Hermit. The most healing uh, you can get is represented here. Shining the light in the dark. Looking what's, uh, looking what's blocking your path. And healing. Isolating. Isolating oneself. king of coins yes that's your that's how your person showed up back here the king of coins yes 
Okay, so after an ending, they need to go, they need to isolate a little bit. That's what this, I think, was about. Up, up here, these cards, when we clarified the page, taking a time out, painful ending, four of swords, ten of swords, and here we have the hermit and ten of swords. It's a little bit longer than just a quick, you know, meditation. And they have, there's a little bit of time here that some healing needs to happen. Maybe it was unexpected even, you know, because you guys are already in love and want to be together, but sometimes when these big life events happen, such as um, the world cards, when they show up, and you guys got it twice, um, you know, it's big. So it's good to go within and isolate and do some healing. And, uh, And that's the universe's advice at this time. Underlying energy, Ace of Swords. Yeah, opportunity for clarity big time when you do that. This message is a gift for you and your person to take heed here. And if you follow this, blessings will ensue. You guys, uh, you guys definitely have your hearts open to each other. Do the proper healing first so that doesn't get in the way later. All right, that's what we have for you. Thank you so much for being here. Please hit that like and subscribe. Help this channel grow, and I look forward to reading for you next time. Take care, guys.